Katie, you could play for anyone in the country. Why Liberty? Look at us. Why not Liberty? I love Liberty. I could have gone anywhere, but you know what? God put me here for a purpose, and I am so thankful and blessed to come to be a part of this team. This is Katie Feenstra. She just did something unprecedented. No other school from the Big South had ever made it to the Sweet 16, let alone 13th seed Liberty University. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's back up a little. Okay, this is Katie's big sister, Mary Beth. A few years earlier, she'd come to Liberty to play basketball. After she signed, LU got a new head coach. This guy, Kerry Green. An avid outdoorsman, all-round nice guy, and one good coach. Mary Beth came in as a freshman, uh, set a record for most blocks per season, and continued on with that into her sophomore year. And uh, that's when we started recruiting Katie. Coach Green was an awesome coach. It was an awesome program, very successful. I did turn down some other secular schools that could not understand why I would turn down the bigger schools. She was being awed by a lot of schools, and then coming from the state of Michigan, Michigan State was all over her, and uh, uh, they were fierce rivals in the recruiting battle. But in the end, I wanted to grow academically, I wanted to grow spiritually, uh, and I wanted to grow as an athlete, and Liberty was the only school that could offer all three. As her college career progressed, a big loss her junior year would prove to be the spark of something great. We'd been to the NCAA three years in a row and exited on the, the first game. I remember walking down after the media interview, and as we were walking down the hallway, they were talking back and forth and said, this is not going to happen again next year. We're going to make a difference next year. And I, I looked at both of them and said, you know what, unless you do something different, you're going to get the same results. Not until my senior year did the captains and, and really grasp the senior class, this is it. You know, this is all we have. Um, Coach Green has worked so hard with us to meet us, to get us to our potential. Um, if anything, we have to do it for him. We have to do it for each other. We have to play together as best as we possibly can and glorify God. Uh, they raise the level of competition uh, in practice and uh, their determination was high and, and as possible and their preparation was just superior. Now time to check in on Cinderella. Liberty, the 13th seed in the Chattanooga Regional, taking on DePaul. Pam we just Bank had a different mindset our senior year. We expected greatness and excellence out of every single athlete on that team. Nobody in the country put Liberty in the bracket to go to the Sweet 16. Now you're on your way. The final points as the Liberty Flames have pulled off what many thought was impossible. It's crazy to think that we were the ones that did that that my senior class was the ones that led that. And apparently Cinderella's address is 1971 University Boulevard, Lynchburg, Virginia. The it was a whirlwind. Um, Coach Green, I have to tell him that he's right. Um, back in the day, freshman, sophomore year, he was saying, you know, Katie, basketball's gonna be bigger than what you think it is, and you're gonna go somewhere after college. I'm like, no, Coach Green, I'm gonna be a PE teacher. You're wrong, you know, like, just leave me alone. And um, he was right and I should have listened to him. After college, I played in the WNBA for about six years, traveling the highest level possible in the United States is the WNBA and the Olympics. It was great to be able to play for both of those programs. I also played overseas, played in South Korea for two years. I played in um, Russia and Spain with USA Basketball, and then I finished my career with three years in China. So about two weeks after I get back from my last season in China, the former coach Carla Flest called me from Cornerstone University and asked, you know, what I was up to, where I was living, um, and if I'd be interested in coaching. And here I am. I'm coaching. I'm the head coach at Cornerstone University. The, one of the main reasons why I wanted to become a coach was to mentor young athletes, to help guide them, to help figure their life out and use athletics as a tool to use to do that. And I love all of them. I can help them through life because of that relationship that I built with them. I love it. It's everything I expected and more. Being inducted into the Hall of Fame at Liberty University is, is by far one of the greatest pinnacles of my career. I mean, I've done, I've done quite a bit in the game of basketball, but to come back here with Coach Green, still being a part of the program, and celebrate this with him, um, I feel like is 
is an honor in itself. I am humbled because I look back at my team that helped me get to the Sweet 16, helped me get all the accomplishments and meet all my goals that I've made. I mean, I was a post player. I had to get the ball somehow, you know, in order to score those points. Where's my teammates? Where's Dinah? Where's Crystal? Where's Stephanie? You know, all those teammates I feel like need to be here too one day, being in the induction of the Hall of Fame because I may have scored the most points, I may have rebounded the most, but couldn't have done any of that without my teammates.